Hey guys, today I'm going to be telling you my top 10 favorite Five Nights at Freddy's franchise characters. You heard me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So anyways, let's begin. So at number 10, we have Withered Bonnie. Now I like Withered Bonnie because, bro, he, he looks cool. Like, he looks iced out and cool. Mm, but he has the same game mechanic for pretty much every other FNAF 2 character except for a few. At number 9, we have Foxy. So I like Foxy because first they have a unique mechanic in the first game. They have a unique mechanic. I mean, it isn't really a unique mechanic, but it's mostly different to FNAF 2. And I like the fight in FNAF AR. So, because, like, he, he goes super fast, bro. He be zooming. So, yeah. And at number 8, we have Candy Cadet. Now, Candy Cadet is very cool. He is one of the best... He has one of the best designs for any characters in the game. And he is so cool. He also has a really unique voice. Okay, at number 7, we have Toy Bonnie. Now, I like Toy Bonnie because... I just like, I like his fight in FNAF AR. It's pretty difficult with the mask thing and stuff. But in the second game, he has the same mechanic as everyone else. At number six, we have Withered Chica. Now, I like Withered Chica because, honestly, I'd be kind of scared if I saw her. Like, if I saw her just walking down the street or something. Or in a photograph or something. I don't know. Like, because the jaw thing and like... Bro, that's kind of scary. Because... Well, yeah. She also... Yeah, in FNAF UCN, she's one of the Vents characters. And in the... And in FNAF 2, she's... uh. She just like she does the same mechanic as ever as most of the other people. Now at number five, we have Golden Freddy. So Golden Freddy is cool because in the first game he's very cool. And I mean extremely cool. Like bro, he's golden. But not only that, but I like how there's a chance that the game crashes and you lose in the first game. Now that's taken away in the second game and in FNAF UCN. But it's still pretty cool. Now at number 4, we have Shadow Freddy. I like Shadow Freddy because he's like, he's cool. Okay? And I haven't said that about anyone else. He's cool. Um, so at number 3, we have Phantom Freddy. The reason why I like Phantom Freddy is his design. It's like, because he's like all green and stuff. Eh, yeah, and he also has, like, I don't know, he just, I just think he looks cool in that game. So at number two, we have the original Freddy. Now, the original Freddy is cool, because he is, like, he's a dude in the title of most of the games. And not only that, but he has a cool design. And... He's like the first character you fight in FNAF AR. But he's very easy to counteract in FNAF UCN. So yeah, number one. Drum roll please. Springtrap. Or the man behind the slaughter. Or... So yeah, he's cool because I he has a he's added a lot of lore to the game, but not only that, but his fight is super difficult and 
FNAF AR. He's super aggressive, and, like, there's not that much static, and you have to find him, and you have to have, like, fast reflexes. Yeah, he's also the man, he's also purple guy and the man behind the slaughter. He's also glitch trap, he's also the peanut dude. So yeah, anyways, that's the end of the video. See ya.